it's very fitting that today is the day that I speak to you all about this because March 1st is the first day of Kidney Cancer Awareness Month, which is why I'm here. <laughs> uh, this is me on May 1st, 2017. I could talk to you all about how I had kidney cancer and I had to go through a whole bunch of things, but I don't think it matters. I think what really matters is what I learned from the experience, and that's what I want to share with you all today. A big thing that I've really thought about during my time in the hospital was about how we're influenced by where we are, who we meet, where we go. And as I thought about this TEDx, our theme is, who are we, past, present, and future? Took me back to the hospital and in the ICU with something that I wrote, which was this. I'm gonna read it off my phone. <laughs> Life is about moments, incredible points of time, incredibly bad, or hopefully more often, incredibly good. As you look back on these moments, you can see how they shape your life. The friends you make, the jobs you take, the places you go, the things you do or don't do, the failures, the wins. Life would suck without these moments. It would be boring, too easy, un or it'd be too predictable. <clears throat> so I'll take these moments, all of them, because they create this connected dots portrait of you and your beautiful life. As I look back on all these past moments, I have faith in my future moments, because I like the portrait that's being painted right now. Bellarmine played a part in becoming who I was before cancer, but it also continues to be a part of who I am today. When I was stuck, uh, it's not stuck, excuse me, I was gonna say, when I was stuck in the ICU, I wrote that, but what really struck me after this situation was February of 2018. We had an alumni game, we were at Bellarmine Knights Hall. While we were there, I was sitting next to one of my professors, and uh, it was Professor Linda Raymond, who I hope is here, maybe not. If not, she'll see the stream, so. Um, and I sat there and I, I talked to her, and in the middle of the conversation, the announcer comes up and says, if you have been facing cancer or beaten cancer, please stand and be recognized. I'd never been in a public event where this was something that I could even participate in or feel like I should participate in. And so I turned to her and I said, is this me now? And I was very emotionally upset at that point. I started to have tears wells in my eye because I hadn't really posed that question before. And she said, Nick, what happens to you doesn't define you. You define what happens to you. And that's really kind of took me full circle. Took me full circle all the way back to when I was in the hospital. Because when I was in the hospital, I had a very clear cut initiative. It was get up, survive, go to bed, do it again. That's what it was, it's very easy. Um, but once you get into your day in and day out real life, uh, you start having these adversities that you don't really realize are necessarily aver adversities. You have the alarm clock in the morning, you have the, am I eating the right food? Do you have the uh, you know, willpower to go work out? I used some nights in that, that little sprint little scene there. But um, that's, that's what I started thinking about, is, is it took me full circle, because it was very simple when you're in the hospital. And when you're in the, you know, your day in and day out life, uh, those adversities are kind of hidden, and, and you have that kind of, okay, drudging on, drudging on, drudging on. Am I really, you know, mining to get to those goals? And, the answer is yes, you are. You have, the you have the ability and power to change your life every single day. And it's in those moments that you make those decisions to say, yes, I answer the call first time on the alarm. Yes, I went to work out today. Yes, I ate the right foods. And I chose this because that's me about 10 years ago, and that's me about three weeks ago. Um, big change there. <laughs> college, <laughs> um, but uh, you have these impulses and the reaction's up to you, but what I challenge you to do is when you have these impulses and these adversities, you have these things, these ups, these downs, these goods, these bads, to rise to the occasion and be your own hero and be react the way that the person that you would want to be 
would. Sounds kind of weird, I know that. But what I'm saying is, I try to be the person that the person 10 years ago would look up to today. And I, I'm proud of who I am today. I'm I know that 15-year-old me would be proud of me. And I like that a lot. And that's, that's what motivates me to keep going on a day-in and day-out basis. It's not easy to do, which is why I have this hat on. It's, uh, it's grit, which I got from Angela Duckworth's book, Grit. Uh, and it stands for perseverance and passion for long-term goals. But one of my friends also pointed out to me that greatness resides in tenacity. And that also stuck with me and, and is a symbol for grit. And that's why I surround myself with these symbols is because these symbols are, are again, that extra push to rise up, to, to fight that fight, to go and go a little bit harder, go one more. I wear this on my wrist, it says stay positive. When I'm stressed out at work and I maybe don't want to make that last call, you know, I'll give it a flick, and I make the last call. I need to start doing that in the morning a little more. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it, I mean, that's you got to surround yourself with these with these symbols. I think that's how it makes being who you want to be easier. And they're so critical to have those symbols, to have these things that you fall back on. But you can't do it with just symbols alone, right? You have to have your propellants. These are my propellants. These are a lot of people who are here for me during some tough times. That's my mom on Mother's Day in the hospital. So shout out to you, mom, for being there. Um, I know that there's a lot more fun things that you could do that day, but you know, I'm glad you were there. Um, you gotta surround yourself with propellants. You gotta surround yourself with people who are gonna pick you up and let you go that extra mile, who are gonna pick you up when you are down, or who are gonna tell you you're not acting right. This isn't you, be better. You gotta have those people that are gonna be there to push you. And not those dilutants, the people who are gonna bring you down and say, eh, eh, whatever. Nick, you did this today, it's, uh, I don't like that, that's, that's just not me. I need, I need my rocket fuel. I started with a quote that I read, or wrote while I was in the hospital. I'm gonna finish with a quote that I wrote when I, wrote when I was in the hospital. After discussing with a friend today, I think there are two kinds of people in this world. There are people who believe they fight every single day to win the day, and there are people who believe that you are slowly dying from the moment you're born. Those who fight daily will likely do more with their days than anyone else, and will use all of their near-death experiences to justify that they will change the world. Because if they weren't going to, then one of those experiences would have already finished them off by now. This person will treat the world as it could be, so it will become as it should be. The one who views slowly dying will be someone who will always settle, who will never go the extra mile, who will die hesitating, will treat the world as it is, and because of that, it will be never more. Who do you want to be? When I wrote that, I was really mad at one of my friends. I was really mad at him. He texted me something that I just couldn't believe he texted me. And what that brought up a great point, and jumping back to my dilutants, is I said, hey, man, I'll talk to you later. That's just what it is. You gotta cut dilutants out of your life. But also when I wrote this, I realized who I was. I realized that I wanted to fight every single day. I challenge you to do things because they're hard. I challenge you to know that you are the sum of your decisions. I challenge you to fight. You are who you wanna be. So be it.